Okay, so um, next thing we have to look at then is adding resistors. Most devices that you have will have hundreds, if not thousands, of resistors in them. Um, and we can simplify problems in electronics um, to make them easier to solve if we combine together resistors into a single resistance. Okay, by that we mean we just find the total resistance of all the resistors. And it's quite simple that if we connect them in series, um, the total resistance will increase because the uh, electrons of the kernel have to flow through each of those separate resistors. And all we do is we add the individual resistances to get the total resistance when it's in series. So very simple example. In this case, we have two resistors. So my total resistance is just going to be R1 plus R2. And that means it's 200 plus 500 which is 700 ohms. So what we're saying is they are equivalent to a single resistor of 700 ohms. Okay. Um, series is relatively straightforward. Parallel is more complicated. In fact, if we add a resistor in parallel, what it does is it reduces the overall resistance of the circuit. Because it gives another path for the current to travel along, it actually makes it easier for the current to get around the circuit, therefore the resistance is less. And what we do is we add the reciprocals. Okay, so if I have these three resistors, one over my total resistance equals one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. This is easier explained by an example. So let's look at this example. So calculate the total resistance. Well, we have three resistors, which are parallel so we're going to add them by adding the reciprocals of those values put in my values and then add them i would really advise you even if you are confident of adding fractions um i would advise you to use your calculator to do this because lots and lots of people make mistakes remember this does not equal 3 over 700. You just don't add the top line and add the bottom line, which I see way, way too often. And um, to add fractions, we need a common denominator. Let your calculator do that hard work. But in this case, we could take a common denominator of 400. So 4 over 400 is the same as 1 over 100. 2 over 400 is the same as 1 over 200. And 1 over 400 is 1 over 400. Now we can add the top line, which gives us that it's 7 over 400. Don't stop here. Too many people then think the total resistance is 7 over 400, but it's not. If you notice, 1 over the total resistance equals 7 over 400. So what we have to do is turn both those fractions upside down, which gives us RT over 1, which is just RT, is 400 divided by 7, which you can just write as a decimal. We usually leave it as that in an exam. And it gives us 57.1 ohms. And you can see that resistance is less than even the smallest resistor that is in that those three resistors in parallel. Okay, so try the questions below and um, give those a go.